I'm checking how a rotary encoder works. This one is taken out of a defect mouse, it's the scroll wheel. And I'm going to use my Cypress uh, PSOC 4 here to see if I can capture the events from the uh, rotary encoder and that I can count the number of turns left or right. On the oscilloscope you can see the effect of me turning that encoder. So you'll see that A and B uh, are slightly out of phase when I rotate it and that's what's detected by the module here. I'm starting from the quadrature decoder mode example that comes with the PSOC creator. I'm using the on-chip quadrature decoder and that one takes as inputs the two lines from my rotator and it will return the count, the number of uh, hops that I did uh, left or right. And my main code doesn't do very much, it's that same example that I've started from and I've just changed a few things here. Instead of using an automatically generated uh, PWM signal with 90 degrees shift, I am using the inputs of my rotary encoder and here in my uh, program I am capturing the count. If I reach a multiple of 10, my program will break and we can see here in the watch window how much that count is. I'm starting the program now, I'm turning a little bit to the right and we are breaking at 32770. I'm going to run it, run it again and turn right once more. It should now break at 780. There we go. I'm now going to run it once more. Turn left and we should break at 770 again. Voila, that's it. My uh, example works. And here is how I started my example. When you open PSOC Creator, you have the possibility to uh, open example projects. I have looked for quadruple encoders and decoder examples. I took this one, created uh, it in my existing workspace. Then I have set the correct device. Uh, using the device selector, I have taken care that I have used the correct one for my example here. I have a PSOC 4200, so I didn't need all the other ones. Filtered on that and then selected the device that I am working with, which is this one select OK. Then I went to my uh, top design and didn't change anything here. I just checked what was uh, implemented to see how it works. Uh, I then went to uh, the uh, pin assignment and I have taken care that I selected the right pins here. And the only one I had to change was the LED pin. Uh, I have kept the P01 and P00 for B and A, but the LED I have changed uh, to another assignment to the one on my board, which is P36. So I had to change that here uh, from the example project to that particular one. So originally it says P02 and my LED is on P36. So when you scroll down here and select that one, it automatically works. Uh, I then had to change my main program. I have commented out the automatic pulse generation that's happening here. So I commented this one out and then I replaced this with my code to get the counter values and break on the counter values. And that's it. Compile, run and it works. Connecting everything up was also quite straightforward. So I just took care that my channel A and my signal B are pulled up with a 10k resistor and that there are debounce capacitors over the two contacts because this thing is a bit dodgy uh, there is loads of false signals coming out if you don't put these caps there there is one of the components on the PSOC 4 that automatically takes the jitter out but I haven't used that so I am using hardware debouncing via those, those two caps so what happens here is if you move your rotary uh, encoder then uh, channel A will either be closed and you have zero or it's open and it's pulled up to 3.3 volts. The ground and 3.3 volt uh, are coming from my PSOC, from my development kit, and these two are going to the P01 and P00 inputs. And that is what you can see here. This is the rotary encoder switch. You have the common, the B and the A pins. I've just uh, routed them to here. Uh, each of the two pins are uh, bypassed via these capacitors here. 
these are the pull-up resistors that pull the signal high to the 3.3 volt coming out of my development board. The ground is also going here uh, for the common of the switch and the two capacitors. And here you have the B and A input. So very simple setup and you have seen now that it works.